morning, good morning, good morning, it's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning, I hope you're feeling fine. The sun is just above the hill, another day for us to fill with all the things we love to do. Oh, can't you hear? It's calling you, doo 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 Good morning, good morning, good morning, it's time to rise and shine. Hey, good afternoon. Making a salad. I'm a cucumber salad, but I added lettuce. And then, um, yesterday. Okay, so last night, Russ is like, oh, what are we going to have for supper? Which is his clue, which happens pretty much every day, of, um, I don't want to cook supper. What are you going to make me? Kind of thing. Not really. That sounds bad the way I said it, but, you, uh, hold on. Wow. Did you have a nice trip? See you next fall. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a piece of paper so I can clean this off. Is that better? Yes. Anyway, what I was saying is that Russ was like when I'm a big cucumber guy. So like I said, I wouldn't have um bought the cucumbers or made a big cucumber salad if he wasn't a big cucumber guy. I didn't know that. Like, it was a lot of cucumber for just me to eat. Anywho, I'm like, okay, we can make a salad. He's like, I'm going to be a cucumber guy. I'm like, a regular salad with the iceberg lettuce or whatever. And he's like, uh, we'll see. I'm like, well, you could put some chicken in the oven or something. He's like, oh, I'll think about that. And I'm like, sitting there, I'm like, okay. So I got up, I put the chicken on the oven, on the oven, on the stove, in a pan, on a pan, cookie sheet. Um, I started to preheat the oven. And he's like, oh, you're making chicken? Thank you, dear. So I guess he was going to do it. I'm sure he was. Um, so I'm like, yep. Yeah. And while he was standing there, the oven went off and was preheated. So he put the chicken in the oven after seasoning it with ranch seasoning. Because I wasn't going to season it or anything. I was just going to make chicken. And then you can do it. I'm like, I'm just going to cook the chicken. And then whatever you do with it after that is up to you. Anyway, we had like two huge pieces of chicken and then two regular pieces that I put on. Because they were stuck together. So I put them on um, on the cookie sheet. And so I ate, yesterday I ate the little piece of chicken, like this size. This other piece that I had is like this. So I cut it up. And I have a whole bowl here. That's what I'm doing. The whole bowl of the chicken, ranch seasoned chicken. Put it in my salad just like this. I don't think my pieces are small enough. This one's definitely not. Look at that size. But, you know, some chicken in my salad. Very delicious. Yeah. So that's what I'm having for lunch. This salad, the cucumber, lettuce, Greek salad with chicken it's not really greek but you know it's got greek salad dressing anywho that's what i wanted to share with you this afternoon it's my last day on escalation and i'm excited for that i just had the phone call from this guy who's like so talkative he's just like blah, 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 and this is happening and this is happening and this is blah, 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 blah. why do people think we want to hear their life story like, you don't even see me. You can't see me. How do you know I ain't going around, like, you know, making faces about, I don't want to see, I don't care. I don't want to hear your life story. I don't need to hear it. I really don't need to hear it. Yeah, so look at this. This side now has long pieces. 
And this side is getting, is also long pieces. So it's like evening out. How weird is that, right? Interesting. I don't get it, but I ain't arguing about it. Not like I can do anything about it. Okay, anywho. It's a big ass piece of chicken. This was one piece. It made like all this whole bowl full of chicken. And it's like a lot of chicken. I'm gonna let you go. Eat your cookies. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get this hair wet. That's better. Uh, this is my second to last break for the day. For and uh, just I didn't obviously I didn't do my hair at lunch, so I'm doing it now. For lunch, you saw all I did was eat the salad. I didn't go on a walk. Uh, because I wanted to have time to enjoy my salad, enjoy my food, and there are people, did you know there are people out there who don't like food? Like, in general, they just don't like eating. And I'm not talking about, like, anorexics or people with eating disorders. I used to know this guy, I used to work with him. And he didn't like food. And I'm like, that's crazy. How can you not like food? On a side note, I'm going to get some toner to see if I can get this green out. Later, I go to Sally's and get some toner. Anyhow, uh, uh, yeah. So when I get to Sally's, I'm going to get some toner to get the green out. And then also, I'm gonna um, get a color for for my hair. Yeah. So, anywho, um, uh, yeah. How can you not like food? Food's delicious. He's like, I just don't like chewing or something like that. And I'm like, what? Okay, weird. Like he's like, I eat because you know, I'm not anorexic and I don't want to die, stuff like that. I'm like, okay. But food is delicious. And he's like, nah, I just don't care. I'm like, wow. I don't understand how you can't like food. So I understand liking food too much. It's a comfort thing. You eat comfort food. You eat a lot of it. And that's kind of Chinese food for me, I believe. Because I just really like it. And I don't have to eat a lot of it. But I usually get like the fried stuff. You know, like... Uh, those Chinese donuts or, um, and or I'll get like, uh, what else? Crab Rangoon is fried, um, um, egg rolls are fried, you know, all the fried stuff. Cause I like it. I like it. Is it good for me? No, but I still like it. All right. Now let's go upstairs. So you know that new, it's not new, you know that thing, uh, Noom, you know the Noom, they're like changing your relationship with food. I know, and cause I've been one of them, one of them, I've been a person, probably still am one of those people that uh, find comfort in food and we were taught to um, eat everything on your plate and if even if you were full, they're like, you gotta finish it because uh, there's starving children in Africa, or, you know, whatever. That's what they would tell you. And, uh, but there's also starving children in the United States, so it doesn't really have to be in Africa. But in any case, we were told, finish everything on your plate. Um, so you were forced to eat. You were forced to overeat because your parents didn't want to deal with leftovers, you know? And I'm like, okay. This was ingrained in my brain as a child. So while I'm growing up, I'm like, well, I can't waste the food and I don't have a container to put it in. So I would just eat everything. I would just eat it on my plate. Well, naturally you can see what happens because of that. Now, 
I've had the gastric sleeve surgery, so I cannot physically eat that much unless I want to sit there for the next two hours being uncomfortable. Now, here's also a thing. Even though I don't eat that much anymore, I still have feelings that I need to finish what's on my plate. But I, Noom is supposed to like teach you that, you know, and change your behavior, change your thinking of your relationship with food. That's their whole thing. Change your relationship with food. And I'm just sitting here like I could, I could do that on my own somehow, right? Maybe I need to go to therapy for that. I don't know. But, um, Noom costs too much, so I'm not going to do Noom. But if I had, um, if I had the time or money or whatever to do Noom, I think I would. I think changing your relationship with food is a good idea, um, especially for people who are, have already had the surgery and still can't seem to lose anything. But in any case, I'm slowly working on, on trying to work on it on myself or by myself. Um, so when I am full, I go, I, I tend to, you know, make a breathe, make a breathe. I tend to breathe heavy when I am full, but even though I go, and I am full and I know I'm satisfied and I shouldn't eat anymore. I still continue to eat thinking, okay, just one more bite, just one more bite. It'll be all right. I can do it. I can, you know, do it. Also taking time to eat my food. That was the whole thing about, um, not going on the walk today. Cause I wanted to take time to be able to eat my food. So I'm not like, <laughs> that's another thing that school teaches you because they only give you like half an hour for lunch time at least they did for me we had half an hour for lunch um for school lunch that was the time so we get so in my school in my high school and in my uh and in my middle school so from like middle school to high school they are teaching you you got 30 minutes to get your lunch to sit down and eat your lunch and get back to class that's what they teach you. So once the bell before lunch sign uh, goes off, you you have to go to your locker. And unless you ha are in like a small school where it doesn't take you long to get to places, you if you don't ha if you're in a small school, it takes you not a long time to get to places. This should be enough time, half an hour. But I my class, my school. Um, my class had over 300 people in it. My, gra my, my graduating class had over 300 people in it. Oh, I just forgot my glasses. Where did I put them downstairs? Yeah, anyway. Um, so, you know, you have, you get your, your bell sign, sign uh, your bell goes off. Then, it used to be a bell. It used to be like, ding, 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 you know, like a bell. But then it went boop, started doing that boop. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so then when the, science, the, the bell goes off, the alarm, I don't care, whatever. You have, to, I, it took me, where are my glasses? I must have left them upstairs. Okay, that's fine. More stairs. Hi, kitty. I have to go back upstairs. Okay. Um. So... Then it would take me probably five minutes to get to my locker, put any books away that I had. Then another five minutes to get through, um, five to ten minutes sometimes to get through the lunch line and find a place to sit to eat your food. Then, so that's 15 minutes. Where are my glasses? Oh, you know what? I bet I left him. You know what? I think I left him on my desk. I cannot remember where I put things. I have a terrible memory. It happens. Okay. Um, so yeah. So like, so then you've got 
15 minutes from your 30, taking from your 30 minutes. So now you have 15 minute, only 15 minutes left to eat your food and then take that extra, it's really only 10 minutes that you have to eat your food because you've got to take five minutes to go back to your locker, grab whatever books you need, and then get to your class. If your locker is on the opposite side of your classroom, forget about it. You might as well just skip lunch. All right, I'm going back to work now. Good evening. Uh, so, you know that little bracelet I got from, from uh, Dress Lily? Well, this little part, there's a, supposed to be a piece, a uh, circle, a chain, not a chain, but something, it's, it looks like this. It's supposed to be this circle at the end. Okay. Here, let me just take this part off. Oh no! Oh no! I found it. Okay, so it's supposed to have this little, that's not it, this piece right here, that big ring, it's supposed to have one connecting these. Well, it broke off. And so I have other pieces of jewelry that I don't wear. Like right there. And uh I don't I don't wear jewelry much. So I'm gonna find see if I can find something. I'm thinking like this. Whoa. Like, I bought this for, I think I wore it at my wedding, I'm not even sure. But it has, um, it has these, which are not a circle, but I think it would be big enough, possibly. Let me compare. Where'd it go? So... Looking at this circle, this circle, not big enough. Okay. What about this necklace? Come here, you. This uh, pendant thing has uh, a this. I know this is too thick. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, that's definitely too thick around compared to this one here. See, this one's smaller, narrower. So that one won't fit around. All right. So not that one. What else do I got? This one definitely not. There's no, there's no, uh, loop. Anyway. I really should glue this. So there's a story behind this necklace. It's actually pieces left of, it used to be like full beaded up the chain, not this chain, but a rope or whatever. And I was wearing it. My mom got it for me. It has this like heart with a moon or something. And uh, my mom got it for me and I was wearing it during school. This is back in high school. And I was putting a band uniform on. And while I was doing that, I did this with the collar and it broke. All the beads went everywhere. Which This is all I could save. This was the only, this is all I could save. Mom apparently said it was expensive. <laughs> um, I did not know that. This definitely does not have anything. This is a cuff. Like a big, uh, put it on your wrist cuff. It's a big old cuff. Forgot how to, oh yeah. And you put it on, you put this rod in here. Like that. 
You have a big old cuff that you wear on your wrist for no reason. Big old metal camouflage cuff. I was supporting local, okay? I was supporting a friend that was that makes these things. These chain. Oh, Jay, can you have it? Ah! It's like chain mail or whatever. No, or whatever it is, chain mail. Okay, what else do I got? Well, this one I haven't worn since like high school. It has this little. This thing I got, actually, that's a lie. I wore this before. This thing I got from Alaska, this pendant part, and then it didn't have anything to go on it, and then I had like this for no reason. Oh, okay, so this might work, because it has, oh, this thing is broke. That's why I don't wear it. This like hook piece is broke. It has the loop. And I think it'll work. Let's see. Got to compare sizes. You know how they do. It sounds like somebody has walked into my home. So that's not a cool thing for me. I don't like that sound. Because I should be alone right now. Okay. I think yeah. Looking at it. I think yes. Okay, let me go make sure I'm not being robbed. So, I come downstairs and I know I shut this door. The door was open and the cat was standing there. I don't know if she did that. I thought I shut the door good. Maybe I just didn't. Were you in there? Because I don't know where you were. All right, kitty. Come on. So yeah, the door was open. Um, that was creepy. Uh, right, so I guess like ghosts? I don't know. They opened the door. Maybe the cat was in there. I don't recall seeing her in there, but she's out now, so. Okay. Alright, I'm going to try and repair it. Okay, it works. Now I'm just trying to put it on my wrist. So what I'm doing here is I am wedging this piece between my wrist here and my sweaty boob meat to, you know, to grip it. So I'm just kind of using that so it doesn't like slide around and stuff. And I'm trying to open the clasp. Like I know it fits because I wore it before. But Russ put the thing on. Put the thing on, yeah. He was able to put it on. Maybe. I got it. All right. It's back on. All's well now. Mew, kitty, mew, mew. Well, you have to move. Come on, go upstairs. We're going to bed. Time to go to bed, fuzzy tail. You got a duster thing for a fuzzy tail. What do you call that thing? A duster? A dusty thing. It dusts. You know. There's your food. You fix it for you. Fill it up. Yep. Don't worry, I'll do that. We get some treats. Let's get some treats. Oh, it's dark. It's very dark. Dark, 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 dark. Light. Here's my bed. Okay. Look, how many, why do we need so many? Like this one in the bottom, broken. It's not completely broken, but the handle broken. This one in the middle, that blue one really broken this one on top it's just small with that one you can see broken handle look at why do we need all these Ugh, it's like we're slobs or something hi kitty you ready for your okay hold on i got your treats yeah i got your treats time for treats kitty lick your foot yes Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, 
that's much better. Hi. So, uh, going to Tiana's tomorrow afternoon. She's having a thing from noon to I don't know when. Whenever people leave, I suppose. So, uh, noon-ish. People will probably show up, like, late because that's what people do. How am I? What am I doing? That's not how we take this thing off. This. Here we go. Alright, and uh, yeah, so tomorrow I gotta get stuff to make Texas caviar, which is like a dip, or you could just eat it as is. You know, you could put it in your taco. It's a fiesta theme, so I thought that would be um, good for the fiesta theme. And she didn't say anything about not, well, she's, I asked her, I said, would it be cool if I made some? And she's like, yeah, I don't know how many people are going to come, but I'm going to double whatever recipe I just found. So, yeah, I think that'll be good because I like Texas caviar anyhow, so it'll be good for me. I can eat it, we'll eat it, and it will be delicious. All right, so, going to bed. So have yourself a good night, and tomorrow is Saturday. Toodles. P.S. I just found a sticker on my butt.